Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video, the 1st of September. And it's time for the first stone make along. Yes, I'm still in my Airlie Beach location. This will be our third night and I certainly will be happy to move on. It was supposed to be an eco-quiet place, but it's been quite noisy. Um, the people who are, on it are renovating and they don't seem to be very considerate of their guests. I got woken at 6.30 this morning and we've had noise all day. I guess when you're paying $239 a night, it doesn't make you a happy person, but I am trying. So here goes, our birthday make on. We'll review August. August was Pyridot, which meant a contented mind. Um, we had two nights in Townsville and I was very contented when I got here. I don't think my mind is very contented when I leave, but I am happy to be moving on. Anyway, lots of you picked some lovely yarn in the colour green and such a variety of greens and it was lovely to see. So thank you to all those people who posted pictures because it was great to see how projects were progressing or any new projects that had been started or some old projects that had been frogged and redone. You are keen. But the greens were lovely and I have enjoyed looking at the pictures and leaving comments and reading some of the comments. So guys, the yarn I picked, I don't have with me. I left it at home. I managed to get some more Karen party yarn in the color green. So it's a glittery green and it will match the red Karen party yarn that I put in there. And it'll make nice Christmassy colors when you put them together. Um, I'll show you the yarn in another video, but that's an 80 gram ball of Karen Party yarn in green that'll be going into our price pack. So, moving on to September. September is the Gemstone Sapphire, one of my favourites. I love sapphires. I don't own any, which is unusual, but I do love them. I especially love Princess Diana's engagement ring that Kate, Princess Kate Middleton now wears. It is beautiful. I think it is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. So sapphires. Sapphires are a transparent gem, mainly in the colour hues of blue. But they can be found in other colours, but these are referred to as fancy sapphires. The meaning spiritual meaning of a sapphire is shrewdness and clear thinking mm, that'll get me my thought process going shrewdness and clear thinking so the largest sapphire in the world and it is 1404 carats and point i have to read in my notes dun, 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 0.49 carats 1,404.49 carats. It is the star of Adam and it was discovered in Sri Lanka in 2015. What was surprising to me when I did research was prior to the star of Adam being discovered, the black star of Queensland was the largest sapphire at 733 carats. I live in Queensland. It was or is an Australian sapphire. I believe both of them are anonymously owned. Now, the I guess the most valuable sapphire in the world, and I'll need my glasses for my notes, is dun, dun, dun. I have to scroll down. Sorry about that. The blue bell of Asia. Now, this is only 382. 0.52 carats, but it sold for 17,305,996 dollars in Geneva in 2014. That's one beautiful stone. Now, sapphire star sapphires are called that because when you look over a sapphire under one light source, you can see 
what they call rays of inclusion that merge together and, and show you the shape of a star. Now, if a jeweler looks at that and after the stone is cut, that's when it gets named a star sapphire. I do believe some of the famous sapphires in the world were like worn by Princess Di. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's someone else that I should be able to remember that wore one for a long time. She had an Indian sapphire. Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, Elizabeth Taylor, I'm pretty sure, was given a beautiful um, Indian sapphire. But there you go. Sapphires. They come in a range of colours. In Jewel's shop, you'll see salon sapphires, which are light blue through right to the midnight blue, the darker blue, but the most popular is like the mid velvet blue. So our colour choices for September are, let's have a look, because I made a list. It's going to be the colour blue range, starting with pastel blue, cornflower blue, peacock blue, velvet blue, which is the true blue of a sapphire, Royal blue, indigo blue, or twilight blue, that really dark blue. These are my colours in my stash. That represents the pastel pale blue of what they call a salon sapphire, and that is the velvet blue that they really are. So, guys, that is your colour choices for September's Make Long. You can use one blue, you can use as many of the blue range you like, you could use a variegated blue but stick to blue for September. I hope you post your pictures in the Make Along group or on Instagram or email them to me. I love seeing how projects are progressing or anything new that is made. I think one of my favorite music artists, Chris Rea, sings a song called September Blue. So when you're thinking of September, think of blue. And that will get you through your make along. I'm sure you're still enjoying it because there are so many people still posting and leaving comments about the make along. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and remember life's an adventure and you can have a blue adventure in September. I'll be back with you again sometime, maybe from another location. Bye for now.